Hey guys, what's going on? It's GP here, and welcome back to our another episode of Subnautica. This series has been one of my favorites. Now that I've really dove dove deep into it, whatever you want to say, I'm, I'm pretty certain you guys can already tell that though. So I'll definitely some interesting stuff going on in today's episode. If you guys remember the last episode, we made um where is he? There he is. Our prawn suit, Monger, and as you see outside, some things have definitely begun to develop. Um, we're going to start with finishing up stuff for the prawn suit, and then we're going to start exploring for certain things. Very specific things, to be precise. So yeah, if you guys want to keep some knock and keep thriving on the channel, be sure to absolutely demolish that like button. Absolutely crush it! If you're new or old to the channel, just go ahead and feel free to do whatever you please based on the content you see today before you. So... I was just finishing up with making, um, I believe an advanced wiring kit here, so that'll help for one of the prawn suit things. And of course, real quick, let me step outside. I'm gonna need more batteries anyways. I really need to find that second half of the battery charger, seriously. So some things have changed. Um, I've found a way to plant the acid and deep mud, uh, shrooms. I've got blood vine growing. That's right, you're able to plant the blood oil. And, oh my god. Oh, jeez. This dude. Come at me. Come on. You wanna go? I know you wanna go. Come on. Yeah, get out of here. Never again. So I do believe this blood vine Yep, I can grab my own blood oil from here. Oh, sweet! I can, I don't even, I don't have to go back to the deep anymore to keep harvesting. I've got my own blood oil and deep shrooms here. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. Also installed some power transmitters up here. Don't entirely know what they do, but they they do seem pretty cool. I've got more solar panels to my roof, so I am just stacked for power. Right now, though, we're going to finish up um, making a few things, primarily prawn suit arms. So we've got all the blood oil. I believe this is all the blood oil I need for benzene. Yes, I need that benzene for one of the arms. Sweet. Now I just need to check exactly what it was I needed now for both of these. Because I've got benzene. I've got advanced wiring kit. Also, I've done some custom work for my beauties. Lunaper. Oh my god. This is just as I imagined she would look. She looks amazing and I love it. Oh, just the right color. So, prawn suit modules. I went ahead and made the drill arm and the propulsion cannon off camera. The ones I'm working on now are the grappling arm and the torpedo arm. Aerogel, that's right. I do need aerogel, which I believe I've already made that. So I think all I need is some titanium and lithium and I've got the deal set. So, let me go down and grab this aerogel. It should be in here. Already pre-made, yep. And because I've gathered so much copper with the drill arm already, I gathered a whole vein and it, it almost took on my entire inventory for the prawn suit. Fortunately, it's bigger than normal. So now I need lithium, which I've got quite a good amount in here. Okay. I think that should be everything. And now I can make these final two arms. I can interchange however much I need. So I went ahead and made the drill because that was useful. And the propulsion came because we're used to that already. So let's see. Oh, I need five titanium for each. Alright, understandable. I can go ahead and grab that real quick. Don't want this to take too long because I've got a lot more busy stuff to keep in mind. Good thing I stocked up on titanium recently. I think that's enough. Four, five... All right, put you back. There we go. So I should be able to make these arms. Fantastic. Let's make the grappling arm. Looks like it could be useful. And the torpedo arm. Sweet. Now I can make myself some more uh, gas torpedoes here. Yeah. I just need titanium and gas pods. I'll make, I'd say, how much titanium do I have left? Because I went out to collect some, but I keep running low. Let's make three uh, gas torpedoes for our um, torpedo arm, for our prawn suit. 
Yep, I've got just enough gas pods for that. Splendid. My Mesmer is still swimming around eerily. Anyway, um, we have any alien eggs? Oh, that's right. I did find this one. I didn't know what that was in the deep, didn't I? Let's go ahead and plant that. Be cautious of that. Okay. So let's drop this egg. Oh, it's pulsing. Get me, get me out of there. That is definitely curious. Sand shark. Keep trying to attack all my aliens in here. It wasn't doing that when I found it. Ugh. Okay. Very bizarre. I don't know how to feel about that. Alright, let's make ourselves some gas torpedoes and then let's head to Polyphemus. As you guys saw, I've already got uh, my prawn suit monger aboard. Which means we will be leaving Lunaper behind a bit this time. Oh, that's right. These make two torpedoes per... Oh, yeah. Maybe I should have just made two then. Six will be fine. Or I rigged a bunch onto Lunaper as it is. So then, let's get moving. I still need the battery charger, obviously. Seal this door in case flooding happens. It always comes from that room, usually. All right. Oh, we have these new prawn suit arms. Might as well put them in the storage so I can, actually, no. That wouldn't make sense. What I need to, I might need to check them out real quick. So uh, let's undock Lunaper. And then, let's get Monger in here. She's a beauty now. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems are I feel like I did a good job here with her. Absolutely incredible. Uh, I just can't. It looks amazing. Right, now let's go get suited up in Monger. I think this will be the first time we'll have done it, aside from... Um, Last episode, which was only very brief. Very exciting. Alright, so, Monger should be docked right here. I did customize him a bit too. I'd say he looks pretty darn cool. Enter the prawn, let's go. Just stomping on down. Of course, like I said, we have our propulsion cannon arm, which is pretty cool. I think last time you guys saw me eat Actually, no, because I made this off camera. I've got the drill arm and the propulsion can, which is hilarious. For this, I can literally just yeet fish. <laughs> I can literally just yeet fish. Out of here, sucker. Bye bye. Oh, I can pull Lunaper too. That might be a bit too dangerous, so I'm not going to do that just yet. Biter. Hasta la vista. Oh, yes. I love this. I do partially love this. Gary fish? I haven't seen a Gary fish around here, usually. Okay. So let's go check out these arms real quick. There we go. Get him docked in here. I'd say he does look pretty darn cool. So the drill arm, very useful. Um, where was his upgrades? Wasn't it right here? I believe so. Another thing, his storage... Seems to hold a lot more than Lunaper, so that is really nice. So upgrades, the storage module. Uh, let's equip these real quick. Then I can try to find what I really like. Torpedo arm. Alright. Then I can probably get the gas torpedoes in there, maybe? And I don't have to worry about carrying them on me. Let's see! Uh, let's get out of this area real quick. Don't want to do it under the moon pool. Okay, so let's see what we got. There's the grappler arm, and there's the torpedo arm. This is where I load, right? Yep, torpedo bay. And of course, it already comes with some vortex torpedoes, just like Lunaper did. Okay, so I can only hold up to four more. Got it. What if I can put the other two in Lunaper? Because I did make a shot. Reginald. No, peeper! Oh my god, the peeper just Mr. President and the Reginald. Doesn't matter though, he's still mine. <laughs> Okay. So I can add one more. Okay. I just have this one gas torpedo on me then. But he is pretty much loaded. So we know how that works. Um, let's see. So grappler arm. What does this do? Oh, hold up a moment. 
That is cool! I had no idea that's what it did. I thought grapple isn't like wrestling. I don't know why I thought that. Okay. I like that a lot. Okay, so torpedo arm, I think I could probably live without for now. Let's go ahead and change that out then. If I can, because I did load it, didn't I? Okay, I can unload it. Fantastic. I've got all these torpedoes stored in here. Splendid. So let's go ahead and set that up for now. Uh, propulsion cannon is fun and funny, but right now... Let's go with the drill. Yeah, the drill. We'll go with the grappler and the drill arm. For the time being. That's what we'll do. Boom. Alright. Let's get you undocked. Drill works a charm, which means I can now finally go after all those large deposits. Get me to jump up. Get these boosters. I know there's a, a jump upgrade, but that, like, a lot of the other recipes, aside from the arms, take, like, a lot of stuff, like nickel or kyanite. I don't even know where to find that stuff. So for now, I'll have to wait for now. Vital but, signs stabilizing. let's go ahead and get you suited back up into, uh... Polyphemus way, don't we? Let's leap over here. Boom. Just a super jump. Awesome. Let's get you back in Polyphemus now. Man, no one said this was easy to do, okay? Ah, sorry, Polyphemus. Yeah, this is not the easiest thing to get in. Go ahead and say that. Too far ahead. Shoot. There we go, got him in. Almost didn't there for a moment. Say so the monger's pretty hard to dock unless you've got your cyclops further down closer. I also need to remember that I've got creature decoys, so that should help. Now I just need to take care of Lunaper and we can head on our merry way. Man, aboard, I'd love to take you with us, Lunaper, but where we're going, we're probably going to be going too deep for you. Until we can find more depth modules for you, we're going to have to sit this one out this time. Which sucks, because you do look amazing. Okay. That aside, though. Time to focus on what we're going to do. Like I said, we're looking for very specific locations. So, scanner room, I've been using a lot. And I've got my camera hooked up. Only thing is, it doesn't go too far, of course. It starts getting super staticky if it goes out of the range. But what I've been looking for, as you guys have probably figured, is the deep shroom forest. Or the deep shroom biome, whatever you want to call it. Also, there's also the dunes, and I want to eventually explore that little cavern where I found the juvenile ghost leviathan at the deep. So, definitely going to start checking out a lot of these places. And then eventually, I will focus on making the rocket, going for the story mode. So this will be somewhat lengthy, I just want to get everything checked out. So I believe, this is a place where I kept dying. At first, I thought that this was the deep shroom forest, because it looks just like this. However... Kind of isn't, it's just a large open cave. One that I am too familiar with because I keep getting lost in here. I can never find the exit out and I kept dying, so it's a good thing I'm piloting this camera instead. So yeah, it's not in here. So we are going to be instead... This is, this is the cave that does not contain it. What we're going to be doing is that we're going to try to find the Deep Shroom Forest. Which I have some ideas where it may be. Thanks, um, shout out to Caden and Liam who've been playing the game. They've been actually doing a lot of stuff better than me. Like, Caden's already got the battery charger for me, which kind of sucks. I need that. I've got a lot of batteries that need to be charged. But I might have some ideas as to where to find some of the stuff thanks to them. They've been actually pretty helpful. More helpful than I care to admit. So let's power up Polyphemus. Let's leave our base behind again once more, and let's start going out and searching. So I do believe 
this way is worth a check. We know... Actually, I'm going to use it for reference. Uh, I can't while I'm piloting. We got a nice pot of reef backs coming in. I'm going to use... Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Ah, uh, shoot. Here. CTO use life pod, which is where the blood vine all is, and the entrance to that, I think it's called the Lost River? I don't know. It reminds me of like a brine lake or something. But we're not going to go there. We're going to use this as a mark to not go to, and we can start searching all around this. Our goal is to find some new stuff. We found the mini floating islands before. I've searched over by the alien island and found like all the volcanic vents and stuff. I've also ventured to the other side of the alien island where the Reaper Leviathan is and found like a bunch more like groundwork, wreckage, volcanic stuff. So yeah, I do believe this is the one place we have not checked out so far. We've gone over to where uh, Yu's life pod was. So this is headed towards the alien island. Let's go in between the alien island here and use life pod. This should be good. Let's see if we can yield ourselves some results here. Okay, this all looks somewhat unfamiliar. I don't know if that was a Reaper, Reaper Leviathan or not. This all does look rather unfamiliar to me. So the alien island is right over there. So I'm pretty close to there, obviously. We'll take this metal salvage because you guys saw I was kind of running low there on titanium building all that stuff so a bit of this and some salt deposits would not hurt so let me think about this now this is where the alien island begins where was CTOU's life pod shoot I lost track didn't I Oh boy, this is bad. Where did it go? Oh, I saw that warper. Okay. Okay, it's down there. So we need to start looking around then. I suppose. I haven't really explored close to the island. Okay. Yeah, let's head back to Polyphemus. Store all the stuff that we've gathered. Let's start searching the edge of this creep vine forest, why don't we? We're bound to find something come up eventually, hopefully. Ooh, we got a reef back right underneath us. That doesn't happen too often, does it? So that's where she sank. Let's start searching around this spot where the deep end goes. Because I know all these bone sharks and stuff, there's like volcanic acti activity all underneath the floating islands and near the bottom of the alien island. There's gotta be something between that, the island, and this spot, right? There has to be something. Yeah, here's all the floating islands, here's the wreckage that I discovered. Let's see, what if we go this way then? I also don't want to enter... Because I've already scanned the Ghost Leviathan off camera. So one thing I don't want to do... Is, um... Go to the dead zones. The crater's edge. That's not my goal. At all, whatsoever. That is literally a one-way trip, basically. I mean, you guys see... What happened to my previous. So floating island is this way. Let's stick close to this border, why don't we then? We're bound to find something over here. At least that I hope. Let's take Polyphemus a little deeper. Whoa. Okay. Easy does it. Easy does it. Turn this way. There's a lot of bone sharks to be wary of as well. Hmm. What is this? This doesn't look like a floating island. More land, I'd imagine. So maybe more for me to discover. Let me check out real quick to make sure this isn't something I've already seen. 
Hmm. There's a lot of bladderfish around here. Does this lead to the crater's edge or somewhere else? Oh, hello. Hmm. Can't tell if I've been here before or not. It looks pretty untouched, I'd say. By me. It's another one of these areas. And none of my stuff is in plain sight. Yeah, it's all that away. Interesting. I found another one of these biomes that might possibly be unexplored by me. Passing yep, it's been unexplored. There's a grab trap here. I would have grabbed that if I had come through here before. Very, very interesting. So with this depth of having been unexplored. Alright. Let's go ahead and get back to Polyphemus. Let's guide him on over here, why don't we? This looks like a good place to hop out and start searching. I don't know if we'll find the Deep Shroom uh, forest anywhere nearby. There's still a lot of wreckage for you to explore. Might as well explore this off camera, shouldn't I? Hello. Oh. Hello. This looks like it runs pretty deep, actually. There's another... Well, isn't that helpful? I've been looking here for it this whole darn time. A lot of cliffs here. Like, underwater cliffs, basically. Very interesting. Yeah, I've never been here before. There's a tree mushroom forest. That's a big piece of wreckage. Okay. I don't know if I explored that before or not. Yeah, I did. So I've been in this area, but not the entire zone. Because it was... Then I went further and found the rest of the piece of the Cyclops. So most of this is new. That tree mushroom forest is not. Hmm. I wonder what else I may have not explored then. Maybe I should have grabbed Lunifer. I don't know. Yeah, this is like the big tree mushroom forest. That means there's gotta be something nearby then, right? Hmm. I hope so, at least. I feel like I'm close to something, but I don't know what. There's a creep vine forest over here. This all kind of looks familiar to me, but I don't know why. Shoot, I need to go somewhere. That's a laser cutter, not a battery charger. Dang it. Yeah, this creep vine forest looks different. I don't think I've explored this one. I don't quite know what I'm looking for, but I'm pretty certain eventually whenever I do find it, I'll know. I hope. Whoa. So I've been riding along the edge of this creep vine and tree mushroom forests for a while, and I just heard a reaper leviathan. This looks new. Wait. Wait a moment. Is this what I think it is? Passing 200 meters. Oxygen right, let's go up a bit higher. Detecting it is. Leviathan class. Life forms in the region. Are you certain whatever you're doing is worth it? So I found the dunes. It's not the crater's edge, but it's just as dangerous. This is where the most reaper leviathans spawn. Interesting. So I discovered the dunes. I believe nearby this was the deep mushroom forest. The deep shroom forest. Darn, why didn't I make a beacon when I had the chance? A beacon would have really helped out here. For certain. I don't think I can make one on the Cyclops either, so... I'm just am where I am, I suppose. I do.
do believe there was something close by though. We found the dunes. Which is like way, way out. Yeah. All over, yeah. Oh, the the Aurora is actually almost out of sight for one. There's a big guy. There's a big fella. Kind of just tumbling all over himself, isn't he? As long as he's not coming for us. So I believe the Deep Shroom Force, it wasn't near the dunes. That was a little bit away a ways further, wasn't it? From the dunes. I found this, the cave system. With all the That's a lot of gasopods. This is like a whole freaking pod. I've never seen that before. There's this wreckage, which I know is close to a life pod, but that's just about it. Reef backs. Crud. I mean, this is all new and unexplored. At least that's a good sign. I still can't quite find what I'm looking for. Just the rest of the edge here is just the dunes. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency. Yeah, at least that's the dunes. It's not leading to where I'm, what I'm looking for. I do believe the deep shroom forest was near a creepvine forest, so that creepvine forest I had found, I think, is a clue. I don't know what this will be able to help me with. As far as I know, the dunes is basically another dead zone. It just has a few resources and a bunch of leviathans. My sea glide's almost out of power, man. Oh, that was a crab squid egg that I found. That is interesting, actually. Okay. Very neat. I'm gonna head back to that creep vine forest and see if there's anything. Also, these episodes may tend to get a bit longer. I hope you guys don't mind the lengthened videos. It helps me figure out what I'm doing at least. Whoa, what is this? Wait. This isn't anywhere near the life pod. This also doesn't look like the Deep Shroom Forest. It looks like another blood vine biome. 30 seconds. Ah, snap. Well, this is definitely interesting. Oh god, almost out of power. This is gonna cut close. Oxygen. Yeah, I am... I just went way out on my own trying to find this stuff. with that music cue. This also looks like it connects up to the dunes, maybe? I don't think it's what I'm looking for, though. Man. That... That kind of sucks. Hold up. Hold up a moment. This is pretty close to Creepvine Force. Oh. Pan. We really thought we had something here. I think we just got a bunch more salt pods. Still to take them anyways, though. Why is it so hard to find this deep shroom for? How is everybody else already able to find it? I'm not. Passing 100 meters. Yeah, I got it. Oxygen efficiency decreased. I got it. Okay, there's no significance to that. Understood. Any to this? It's just, just, just another deeper open ocean region. Not deep shroom. The deep shroom biome is in a little crevice. I know that much. So this doesn't help me much either. 30 seconds. I feel like I'm close, man. 
well, back up the surface I go, I suppose. Right, I'm still utterly lost. Turns out where I was, was a larger creep vine forest than the one that I was currently nearby with the Cyclops. I was behind. So, I don't know. It's gotta be somewhere close, I hope. Well, I'm original, so I'll go ahead and grab those. But I might as well wrap it up here. I'll continue seeking around. Don't know if I'll look it up to see. Oh, that's what I think it is. A massive lithium. I might just get Monger to collect that off camera. Found another one of these as well, obviously. But, uh, yeah, thank you all for tuning in today's episode of Sonata. Hopefully, we find the Deep Shroom Forest sooner rather than later, because even then, that's not the only biome that I'm seeking out just yet. I know there is another. Um, check out my second channel in the description below. I know I don't post much content there anymore, which I hope to fix soon, but for any non-game related stuff, feel free to check out all the stuff that's over there. Share this video with your friends, people you know. Um, communities you may be a part of Spread the Word. I'm here to entertain for every age, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay cool, my friends, and bye bye